Okay, so welcome back. So I see you chose to go through the DVDs. It's the ones that you're interested in. So all those people out there who just want to learn about DVDs or see how see what Harry Potter DVDs worth, are they worth selling individually or are they worth selling as a job lot? We'll find out very very shortly. So, but first, let's actually see what DVDs do I actually possess inside of that bag. Okay, so this is what I've got after sorting it all out. These are all the ones which I can't do anything with because I don't have... I say I've got one Philosopher's Stone, I've got four Chamber of Secrets, four Prison of Azkaban, four, three Goblet of Fires, one for Order of the Phoenix, and then three Part 1 Deathly Hallows. I've got no Part 2 Deathly Hallows and I've, and I've got no... Uh, the Huffler print, so I can't do anything with those. As soon as I get one of those films, that's it, there'll be another one to come out over there. But I've got two bundles of eight movies, years one to seven. Um, this one here is mainly made up of all of the year discs, with except the first two, because I haven't seen the first two for a very, very long time. I've got them myself, I do believe, but other than that, I haven't found them ever since. So we've got that one there, but this one, this one, and this one, they're all single discs, and these are double discs. Where on this one here, this is a mixture, so we've got two discs, two discs, two discs, two discs, two discs, yeah, these are all two discs. Yes, all these ones are the two disc editions. So you've got one year, one, and one two disc editions. So that is what we've got on there, and then we've got a couple of games, and this is a double one, so you've got Prison of on one side, and you've got Goblet of Fire on the other. And half blood flint and the all of phoenix so you want to know prices of what i'm going to be going for so i'm working on a basis um doubling my money so i paid a pound a disc so i'm going to charge two pound a disc because i'm looking at about 17 18 pound um, i'm going to go for 20 pound for this bundle purely because they're all doubles and how i'm going to photo them is actually going to prove they're all doubles as well i i, I pride my dvds when i take photos i take them all out i do the cases and make them look really good some people just literally just photo the case on its own some people even use stock photos i think that deters some major collectors and that sort of thing for the oh it's one disc edition so i need to change that and put a double disc edition in there really because of all these doubles so let's change that onto that and put that onto that so there we go, so they're all doubles now and that's singles. Yeah, so, oh look, let's get a better case, let's get a better one. Um, this one here looks a bit better, so we'll change that and put a better one on there. Here we go, make that look a little bit better, because I want to ask 20 quid for that one. Um, for this one here, I'm going to ask for 17, for this one, for... The PS2 Half Blood Order of the Phoenix is only about £4 in that game. Chamber of Secrets Platinum, you're looking around at anything about £8 for that game. I've got two of those. For the double disc, I'm going to go for about three, three, £4 for the double disc. I'm not going to try to wait out because the chance to find another double, uh, all the other double discs is really hard work, so I'm just going to sell it as that. The Blu rays, again, don't really go for too much. I'm going to ask for three, three fifty for that. But the order, um, the order of Phoenix, the two disc special edition, they're only selling for about three, three pound on their own. But the people are just photoing it just like that. That is just a photo. Some have got the back of the case. I'm actually going to open it up. I've got the handouts and everything inside there. I'm going to make it look really good and pretty. And I'm going to ask for seven pound for these and just see what happens. Like, so, um, no, you can new, new and sealed. They're selling for five So I'm going to go for around about three fifty, four pound just for them. I'm trying to quadruple the money. Sort of what it's worth. Yeah, so that is all of the DVDs. Okay, so I hope you liked the DVD segment um, sort of coming from there. I thought I might set a few more set listings. I, I did think I might have... Oh, look at that. It's just really, really sticking out. I really need to sort that out. Now, I thought I might have at least two or three. But from that, so you're looking at £40 investment and with all the DVDs, I'm going to get my money back on just these two. Well, when, when these sell, or just these. So, was it 20, 38... 
50, 50, 60. Yeah, for the ones I'm listing, you're looking around about 70 quid, um, sort of on there. So I've already got that, and then I've got these here. So I've probably got another. Once I get two more discs, I've put another pound, two pound into it, and then another, another 15 pound, another 15 pound. So sitting here, I've still probably got about 40 pound, 40, 50 pound. I'm sort of sitting in there, just got to put another four or five pound into it. So it's not really bad. So it's it's one of those things that. If you want to pick them up, they are worth picking up. You've got to find them as cheap as you can. Uh, I was struggling trying to find some of the discs, uh, but really I don't want to spend any more than a pound per Harry Potter disc. If you can get them for 50p, do that. But if there's one you really, really need to get, like I had to pay up nearly two pounds to get to get a couple of them because they are so hard to find. And so the Prince, uh, the, the, um, the Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hallows Part 2 are just really, really hard ones to find. I don't know why. But um, they're the ones to look out for. But until then, that's this video. If you want to see the books, click on the link on, on the next one to see the books. If not, um, thanks for everyone, and I'll see you again for another haul video or, or Harry Potter related. Till then, bye for now.